What is up, guys? We are back with some more of the Thaumaturge, and we completed the previous act. Uh, unfortunately, someone died, but we're learning that, uh, oh boy, that works with our dad, uh, basically is, like, in charge of, like, the secret police force, and our sister knew, just didn't tell us. So, you know, a little bit, a little bit conflicted there. Anything in here to discover since we're back? Doesn't look like it, so we'll just head to sleep. Oh, wait, there's something to read there. Was that there before? Her diary. I find it hard to see in him the boy he used to be. I can remember our 12th birthday, the last one we spent together. They took us on a carousel and then Miss Jagoda's, whatever that is. Victor and I kicked each other and under the table and stole the best bits from one another. Sadly, I was wrong. First mother left, then Victor, now father. Everyone is leaving. I wonder how long until my brother leaves me again. Dang, we should probably be a better sibling since She's all in her feelings and whatnot. You'd rather be alone? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got that. We got that. Go to sleep. Oh. It looks familiar. Don't look They're like we're sleeping. Is this a dream? Okay, we gotta light the paths. Discover the source of the gold of curse. himself blind fool well what don't I see maybe you could give me an answer this time what don't you know why did you let a rat like Konechkin into our home now he's dogging Ligia and me were you working for him? Did you start informing on your customers for him? A fool's theory. Why is the golem pursuing our blood? You've not just put me in danger, but Liga as well. Who did you hurt so much that the golem was aiming to? Hold on. It succeeded, didn't it? That's what killed you. That's what made the building fall on you. Who inflicted this punishment on you? What for? And how the hell do I lift it? Everything I've done... ...was with your children and mine. I've heard it all before. For our good, I know. Thanks a lot. I definitely didn't ask for a blood curse. Are you finally going to say something? You've wasted your time. I left you all the answers. You just have to find them. Okay. Where am I supposed the to look? Blood for dripping out of his in eyes? the back grimoire, which I nearly got from you. In that case, where is it? Who was it? Your friends? Your cottery that you hid even from your lover? Who are they? What were you planning? You possess everything I had. I have left you everything you need. Come back here! I'm not finished with you yet! <sighs> oh, well, he says he left us everything. I don't know. Was there more now the next morning in his office?
Yes, are we conscious enough? Look who's up. Sleeping beauty. Have some coffee. In the morning, Grazenka brews it strong. All the revelations yesterday overwhelmed me a little. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for my outburst. Forgive me for yesterday. Warsaw was getting to me. Yes, I know the feeling. And I don't want to quarrel with you either. We'd be better off focusing on the obstacles ahead of us. I thought that, given our situation, your suggestion to talk to Konyechkin wasn't so bad after all. I suspect he'll offer us a deal with the devil. For now, I'm just thinking out loud. What's next? I had a dream about father. Me too. Right after he died. He was soothing me with my favorite lullaby. First he insulted me, and then blood poured down his face. Mm. Very funny. Do you see him often in your dreams? This was only the second time. I hope there will be more. It's been a long time since I was quarantined in the hospital. They're not ordinary dreams. They're very realistic visions. I talk to him, I ask questions, but... I can't understand his answers. Why don't we focus on real life? Has anything been reported about Port Praga? I've been keeping an eye out, but nothing yet. But Svetlana's disappearance won't go unnoticed for long. Hyenas like fresh corpses. I know that you're still sorting through things there, but I really have to visit our store in Miruf. I'm basically done, and I was planning to go there now after breakfast. Will you join me? I should look through all of Father's things in the store. Everything he left behind. All right. Let's go. Not much has changed here. Just the sign. Or maybe the owner. That's right. Now it's your kingdom. I don't think queens dig through columns of numbers, exotic names, addresses, and consignment notes. Or scold customers who don't know the difference between powdered skull and powdered mummy. Have you developed an interest in the family business? This conversation has convinced me even more that father left the business in the right hands. Come into my chamber. I have to take care of the inventory. Well, I think I'll Try have less prideful answers with Ligia. There already is. A lot going on in here, huh? Resignation letter. Bold words hide a burning hatred and strong belief that the former friend is to blame for Horowitz's disappearance. Okay. Winds up his favorite clock for the last time. Continue to work with Lazuski is impossible. Shameful. What is this? The photograph, Victor. A marvelous invention. Father was very fond of them. I meant what father has on his face. That smile. I'm sure someone he disliked had just died. Did you want something or are you here to joke around?
The guy next to father. That's Hayat, right? Yes, he's just younger, Victor. That's how photographs work, you know. They stop time and place. I can also see here that they were friends. But a year ago, that ended and they stopped working together. Yes, you mentioned it recently. It's a shame Papa never said why. Could Hayat have wanted our father to die? Could he have sent the golem after him? I think you'll have to ask him. I heard that he bought out one of the two rundown laundries here in Mirov, not too far away. <sighs> You're welcome. Thank you. When was this picture taken? Who knows, a quarter century ago? We must not have even been five. You two look more and more alike. Don't scare me. I'm taking another look around. Is that...? Yes. I'll take a quick look around. Be careful. <laughs> On my way. Yeah, before we go back to talk to her, we'll we'll go search the father's place. We got more little urban secrets and quests to pick up here. Fate has brought us together oh my again. god, bro, what do you want? <laughs> what do you want? Why do you bother King of the Tempermancers? I learned from my mistakes, and now the time has come for me to reclaim the throne and the title that I deserve. Come on, I dare you. Do you pass the other Thalmatids too? Of course not. The others are insignificant compared to you. I dare you. All right. To me, visitors. To me. I don't know why he keeps trying this. Like, my guy, we, we, we get it. We're better than you. We're, we're better than you. <laughs>
There is no shame in losing to a better man. The way tells me to find you again soon. You don't have any powers. What way? What are you talking about? Your salutars are two drunkards with a screw loose. Stop calling yourself a thaumaturge. But the title... I... I... Yeah, like, jeez, bro, leave me alone. All right, we got an old letter. Are you looking for Kabbalah? It's out of Warsaw. Don't bother. One of the best is closer than you think. List of father's properties. There are a lot of them. Most are well-known addresses in and outside of the city. Oh, something over here. An amulet, the words engraved on the amulet exude regret, and the message enchanted in the locket whispers a warning. The echo of golem's curse smells of dark cabal and remorse. I feel something else to trace. I recognize it. It was in the ruins of the tenement house under which my father died. I have to find their meeting place. Suspicious address and a mess that only another thaumaturge could read. It smells of mystery and conspiracy. All right, we still got some other stuff to search in here. Let's go up. Golem's Genesis. Rabbi Sofer from Nuzik Synagogue cast the Golem Curse on Father. Interesting, especially given the fact that the two were seemingly friends. On the other hand, destroying important relationships was Father's favorite pastime, so it doesn't surprise me. If I want to get rid of Golem, I should go to Miro. That was a little frame rate drop there. Rabbi. You said a month, two at most. I believed you. Then came the very first rain, and it was pouring in again. You fixed it, then the next rain. Soaked. I can't sleep because I have to keep emptying buckets. It's leaking just as badly as it was before. But the eyes of God are in every place, and they're watching. Rabbi. When I said two months, you said there was one hole in the ceiling, but the whole building is in shambles here. I can do it. Quiet. You can seal up your daddy's barn with straw. The roof is gonna get holes because the foundations are crumbling. So, let's go down to the basement. Oh no, definitely not there. There are a few things we have to sort out soon, Rabbi Sofer. You see, all I gotta do is mention these cellars and his name comes up. 
Would Hashem let a synagogue be haunted? Hey now, quiet. You're too late, I'm afraid. My name is Feldman. Rabbi Sofer departed this world almost a year ago. Forgive me, I have worldly matters to attend to. I can't leave without an answer. The way of a fool is right in his own eyes. like some of these I'm close enough to and it's not popping up. So we got a cracked wall that hides fear of righteous divine punishment. Old ladder. And then a bucket for rainwater. Is there anything else in here? Oh, we can manipulate. Frank the younger one's resistance, so he puts his foot down. Hmm. Back up. God helps those who help themselves. But maybe you're right, Rabbi. Maybe Hashem is afflicting us, setting a test for us. You heard the guy talking about Sofer. The old man cursed this place, especially these cellars. So I'll go on my own and show that Hashem protects me against curses in Hashem's domain. On your own. You can seal up your daddy's barn, right? Fine, let's go. You've gotten the better of me again, Hashem. Your tests still surprise me, but if this is your will, I think Hashem has sent you to me. Who are you? I'm a thaumaturge, Rabbi. And I really need help. Let's go into my office. Let's show Hashem we accept the challenge. Tell me what problem brought you here. Rabbi Sofer puts a curse on my father. Unfortunately, it started affecting his children as well. A curse is a serious accusation, you know. I find it hard to believe Sofer would do such a thing. Well, he did. Maybe, Rabbi, you could tell me something about golems. Son of Stanislav, golems are a matter of Kabbalah, and you are not allowed to study them. It's a trap for a soul. There are tales of golems being summoned for revenge or in good faith for protection. But they all end rather badly. And you claim that Sofer supposedly sent a golem? I don't know. Did the old rabbi perhaps leave some things here? May I take a look at them? Yes, here you are. All his books are here. I don't think I threw anything out. Is there anything else I can help you with? Rabbi, could you tell me something about Sofer? He was fair, but also difficult and very principled, like this city. Riots, provocations, pogroms, overpopulation. But if he's the one who inflicted the curse, he must have been a powerful thaumaturge and Kabbalist. Who can summon a golem? Normally, it's determined by need. The Kabbalist rabbi summons the golem himself, but other Jewish people can also entreat him to do so. 
In legends, the golem is a terrible punishment and a tool for meeting out divine justice. But I think it's an offense against Hashem, and revenge is no justice. How can I stop a golem? To summon it to life, you write the three Hebrew letters spelling MS, truth, on the clay that formed it. In an attempt to stop the monster, the heroes of these legends would erase the first letter from its clay body. That leaves mess, which means death. But I don't know how much truth is in that. Rabbi, could you help me understand something about Kabbalah? No, and I'll say no more on the subject. I fear for your soul. I'm afraid that I won't find anything more here. Thank you, Rabbi. Bitten fountain pen. Words left his throat was stopped at the bitten end of the pen. Rabbi? I'm listening. I found a prescription belonging to the old rabbi. Was something troubling him? He had heart problems. The local pharmacist would even bring him some kind of special medicine. What was that pharmacist called? Abraham Horowitz. But now his pharmacy is sitting empty. Let me guess. He's dead? Unfortunately. Some say that the socialists were involved. Others claim it was the Ochrana's doing. Let's keep talking, if you need to. Mordechai Chayat. Do you know that name, Rabbi? He owns one of the laundries here in Miruf, but I admit he doesn't really come to see me. Maybe there are other things I could be of more help with. No. Oh. I'll be off now. I'll pray for you. Now we got some optional stuff to do. All right, we're at the old pharmacy to go, go interrogate this dude. Or, I guess, not interrogate him. There's nobody here. Place beat the fuck up. Empty pomade container. Locked pharmacy. The pharmacy was the crown, was the jewel in the neighborhood's crown until it wasn't. Customers took their business elsewhere, which wouldn't have been such a bad thing. If not for their whispers, whispers of the place having a bad aura. Interesting. Mordecai blames father for the disappearance of Abraham, but he does not know the whole truth. Horowitz was involved in a dangerous game between the socialists and the Akrana, which sooner or later would have put many people in danger. Stanislaus Slozuski got rid of the apothecary in cold blood, but he did it in the name of the greater good. Interesting. Let's go talk to the the Mordecai person. That's him. The one with the book. You oozing carbuncle. You ain't had enough of Warsaw yet? So you're sticking your nose in on people here? You know what happens to fellas who sniff around where they ain't supposed to? Miruv, don't kid around with them. 
And who am I supposedly bothering? And you've wasted the chance to keep your mouth shut. We'll cure this posh boy of his nosiness, you can bet. <laughs> Just like that, we in a fight, huh? Let's see. I want to issue his order first. There we go. So it, it does matter, like, how you choose uh, your characters to attack. How come we didn't reduce it by two? Come on, buddy. I'm like, we could take him out. Yeah, we'll just take him out. That was like a useless fight. <laughs> y'all knew y'all couldn't couldn't beat us. Patch jacket. You're talking nonsense. Did you hear about Praga? I'm at the harbor getting fish, and half the wharf is in splinters. They said there's even bodies. More bodies than they usually fish out of the Vistula. Practically every day. They were only just writing about Povishle. But listen to this. They're saying it's some giant did it all. You sure? Maybe I can help. Recently, I've taken an interest in one of those. Leave us alone. Did you wander in here by mistake? You got some dirty laundry that needs cleaning, Mr. Sholsky. Let's have a word about your conflict with my father. There was no such thing. I have warm feelings for the store, and his father as well. You ain't gotta lie. Why did you quit working for my father? It was a mutual decision. I know that you and my father parted ways in bad terms. What happened? We both had difficult personalities, but I still remember him fondly. I don't have You're enough information, telling though. telling me everything. I don't have to explain myself to you, Mr. Sholsky. 
I'm leaving now, but I can tell this won't be the last time we meet. Farewell. I like how he's just gonna like let us roam around like this. <laughs> Let's There's talk some more. Else you need. You were curious how my father died. Beneath the ruins of a building in Shrudmieszcze. That's awful. How did it happen? I'm glad you're asking. A remarkable death, isn't it? Yes. Let's talk about your relationship with my father. A tense relationship. Mr. Shulsky, I'll say it one more time. Stanislav and I didn't quarrel. Liar. Your anger still lingers around the photograph of my father. You're going to find it hard to hide anything from me. I'm not in the habit of speaking ill of the dead, Mr. Shulsky. Especially to their family. Old grudges drove us apart. Not all stains are easy to remove. Especially ones on a person's honor. And might they give you a reason to seek revenge? A motive? I can't summon golems if that's what you're getting at. But you know there is such a possibility. Is that all? I need to get back to work. I know about the pharmacist. Beg your pardon? All this is because Abraham Horowitz, isn't it? He lost his life, and the whole community felt it. Seems like you did most of all. I just don't get why Horowitz was so important to you. Community. Something you Shulskis don't know a thing about. Here, we take care of everyone equally. No one is more or less important than anyone else. Your father's punishment was fitting for his actions and his background. The wrath of the Jewish people. A death for a death. Was it worth it? A golem is a blunt instrument that kills and harms everyone in reach. What are you talking about? You'll see for yourself if you do something for me. What? do you want? To get rid of the golem. Tell me something, anything, that will get me closer to a solution. Instead of telling you, I'll show you. Where? Into an alley? Where some friend of yours will smack me around? To the synagogue. Are you coming? Yes, let's go. We'll stop to get Feldman. He should see this too. Colum trembles with fear of the man who was watching the summoning ritual. Words of deep concentration hovered over the material. Any mistake, even the small slip in the placed incantation, may spell failure 
or the death of the Kabbalists. Therefore, keep calm and proceed slowly with precision. The stakes are high. Bucket of clay. Well, we know that's used for the, the golem. Destroyed wall. This is where the golem that chased down and killed father was summoned, and now it's after me. I thought Salutars couldn't take on a physical form, but I was wrong. The Kabbalah and hatred are capable of bending even the fundamental laws of Thaumaturgy. I can't undo this on my own. I need an ally. Alright, peeps. So. No wonder the roof is leaking if the foundation is crumbling. A lovely metaphor, Hashem. But what happened here had nothing to do with Hashem, did it? Mr. Shulsky wished to know the origin of his curse. This is where it took its shape. If I'd... Now I see it differently, but... But back then, when I was talking to Sofer, revenge and justice seemed one and the same. Revenge is no justice. It is always dictated by anger, and in anger, erring comes easily. But Sofer agreed to it. He summoned the golem. What else do you want to know? This place won't tell me any more. And what have you learned? A lot. <laughs> The hole you can't miss over there is the new door the golem smashed when it was summoned to life. And no one saw anything. How is that possible? Is that your worry, Rabbi? The clay formed a shell that Sofer infused with the Salutar. Sofer told me to bring clay. Sticky and cold. I can't say how many of those buckets there were. Hours sculpting the Colossus until my hands went numb. I could feel the clay absorbing my anger as if my rage was making it take shape on its own. Hours? That must have been horribly exhausting. What's a few hours in exchange for a curse that lasts generations? Hmm? These are the remains of some fabric that Sofa wrote something on, in Hebrew, I think. This might be some prayer, incantation, even a spell. There's not enough left to read anything. That's all, but I'm not any closer to a solution. I need someone like Sofa. A thaumaturge and a Kabbalist? Do you know one, Rabbi? There's only one name that comes to mind, but... Ariel Rofe. A good-for-nothing, vengeful, godless scoundrel. Strong words from your lips. Of course. Do you know one another? You could say that. I'll track him down. There is just one thing I'd really like to know, Mr. Shulsky. Standing where you are now, what do you think about your father's responsibility in all of this? As I see it, the punishment you inflicted on my father is out of proportion to his guilt. Meaning? Neither my sister nor I had anything to do with our father's decisions. Justice would be if everyone paid the price for their own actions. How much anger must a person hold inside to do something like this? Revenge isn't justice. Who are you or Sofer to decide who deserves what punishment? All right, I think it's time for us to go. This place just makes the blood boil. Let's get Mr. Shulsky away from here and stop by tomorrow. We'll have some tea and work through a few questions. Mr. Shulsky, I would like this to be our farewell.
I tell you from my heart, anger and pride are poor advisors. I know that firsthand, but it's too late for me. You can still save yourself. I'll be thinking of you. Shall we? Let's get out of here. So, uh, by contact, do they just mean like hop on the phone? No, they actually want us to go, go visit this dude. Uh, who's... I don't even know which location to go to. The dungeon here, okay. Quiet this time. Bored? Then go ask that uniform what he's doing here. Or tell him to skidoo. Hey, fancy pants. Fuck off. Oh, I love how they said hang that. Hang on, hang on. You lost, officer? Hang on. That's the mama's boy of Shrudmeshche. They dubbed me the son of Shrudmeshche, if I remember correctly. Easy enough to check. Alrighty, so let's... Take you out, and then we'll switch over here to Velus for him to do an attack. Do we even need to worry about this at that point?
on, hang on. That's enough. You? You're the son of a bitch of Shrutmeshe. I'm looking for Ariel Rofe. All right, I don't know. Just tell him something. Take a look at Ruzitsky Bazaar. He has got this sort of geschäft there. Thanks. They're right to call this place the dungeon. No different from like the fighting area. What is this employee area? Nothing in there. That was a waste. Uh -huh. I really don't have anything in here for me to read, though. Whack as hell. Alright, we head to a new map. I don't even know why it splits up like this, but okay. And we got that other point. So now I can progress that one side quest. And we got our health up by two points. That's going to be clutch. And what was this one? Reduce focus at the end of every round. I think I like that a lot. The reduced focus at the end of every round. got like all these different branching paths this is concerning but i guess it's all just like for evidence looks like cigar stub note in the butcher shop window Stuck there. That wasn't too hard. Where do you think you're going, pretty boy? To your mamas. I'm looking for someone. They say he's got a business here. Do the smart thing and hit the road. Go on. Fuck off. I look like Jack. You talk just like the friend I'm looking for. I'm asking you nicely, capisce? Bid it. I'm looking for Ariel Rofe. Then you can double fuck off, you fucking dunk off! You'll attract more attention with that shouting. Pause on for I get my club. You're not gonna tell me how to do my job, you flip it in the raggedy sod! Beat it! But I know Ariel's got his hideout here. I even know which copper's hands he greases. 
I do not know about no bribes, you probably provocator prover. You can't even come up with it, huh? Provocator? Fuck off. I swear, I know this is Ariel's hideout. Know how to read? It says butcher's shop. Sure, it's extra kosher because there's no meat at all in there. Come on, every bum at Rujit reeks of booze from this place. And when they come here, I'll tell them to fuck off. Please, I just want a word with Ariel. Ogres, how come he's still standing here mouthing off at you? It's me, Victor. Shulski, I remember. Fuck off. So, should I give him what for, boss? Do what you want. I'll be right back. But Ogras, maybe don't take on the son of Shrut Miestia on your own, yeah? I'll call you a priest if you want. All right, let's see. Who's attacking first? You're attacking first. And you're already gonna get that hit off, so we might as well try to target this guy. Leave him be. I'm sorry. Come on, Shulsky. Let's get out of sight. But if anything starts shaking, I'll shoot you. Don't stare. That way. This whole butcher's shop is a cover, right? None of your business. Alrighty, I guess not. Sit down. Tell me why you're bothering me. How exactly did you find me? A very inventive hiding spot. And a nice place. We've got our own little store here with different varieties. 
I'm just doing my best to unload it efficiently. Don't waste my time. I've got a certain problem, and I'd like to get rid of it quickly. Is it made of clay and weighs two tons when it shows up? So you got sick of running back and forth across Kervich Bridge? I'm not going to pretend I understand. Golems aren't great at swimming, remember? Since it's following you, going across a bridge would force it to... Forget it. I can see why you can't deal with it on your own. I need the knowledge of a Kabbalist. Your knowledge. I think I have at least a few reasons to say no, don't I? The main one is the death of my business partner and best friend. I didn't know a golem was after me. You shouldn't have shown up at the dungeon that day at all. You shouldn't have taken that job. I don't have time, Ariel. We both know that only you can help me. You can keep tormenting me, but are you going to tell me something or not? I can torment you and tell you. A golem is a salutor like any other, but housed in a physical form. Why do you attract it and bind it in the same way? So you need to discern the flaw of the person it's following and then defeat it. Well done. Okay, that's interesting. The difference being that it's following blood first and the flaw second. But first, you have to deprive the golem of its physical body. The shell in which the salutor is housed. You also need to know where the ritual was conducted. Because that's the only place you can do it. Good luck. How can I get rid of that clay shell it has? You can't. For that, you need a Kabbalist. Moi. I know the incantation for the Berur ritual. What? Instructions for reversing the evil eye, cleansing body and soul, and hiding from the unwanted, but... Why should I explain them to you? I'm guessing this will cost me something. Money? A favor? A further humiliation? We'll see. I know the place the golem was summoned. The basement of Nozick Synagogue. So, so far managed to do it? So, apart from my family's blood, the golem is attracted to my initial flaw, right? Initial? So how many have you got? Damn. I've got plenty. I have a really handsome number of salutors. You're lying. You'd have lost your mind. Nope. If you say so. Thank you. So we're going into the basement of a synagogue, where you'll use Kabbalah to strip the golem of its physical form, right? Then I'll bind it and free myself from its curse? Not quite. The golem is mine. You want to keep it? What do you need the golem for? None of your business. Oh. <laughs> you want revenge. That's very sentimental, if you think about it. Another word? And you'll be looking for a new Kabbalist. Mm. Fuck it, he can have the golem. Agreed. The golem will be yours. You didn't say the magic words. I hereby promise that the golem is yours, as long as you can handle it. Way to go. Don't worry about the rest. Ah. Hold on. What? If I lose my initial flaw, I'll lose contact with my initial salutor, right? Could be yes, could be no. I don't know. Want to find out? Not really. Yeah. 
Unless you've got a long line of relatives with flaws. Just me. Anything else? Actually, I have a twin. We're gonna mention it anyway. Unexpected development. Does she carry a flaw? I don't know. So find out. A toast? A very successful batch. We haven't shipped everything out yet. This won't make me go blind, will it? The risk is part of the fun. Fuck okay. it. Lahayim. I couldn't have said it better myself. I like how our character has no shadow, but the cup did in the background there. Uh, we'll join them later. We'll meet there. I've got one more thing to sort out. Don't forget your sister. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But guys, with that said, I'm gonna end the episode off right here. We're gonna figure out how to how to destroy this golem and free ourselves from the curse because you know it's not our problem we got this golem. It's it's our dad's problem, but he's dead. But with that said, I hope you enjoyed. Make sure you leave a like for the video. It helps with the video a lot. And also subscribe to the channel because it lets me know you enjoy the content you see right here. But with that said, stay sharp. Later.